Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Xbox The Box. We have just watched the Xbox Showcase 2024. This is our first impressions, our reactions, our thoughts, and yeah, so we're hoping you guys watch this, the conference, because spoilers, I guess, if you haven't watched... Why would you watch this if you haven't watched the conference? Anyway, my name is Potato, and I'm with my good friend, Alice. Hi! How are you doing, Alice? Yeah, so... At the moment, we just went out of the Xbox Showcase, and we watched both the main show, as well as a Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So... Yeah. And an initial thought is that I was keeping other expectations, though, and just only expect, like, PlayStation games, Microsoft gaming, and, like, Halo. But none of these have happened. But instead, we got, like, lots of really good games with it. Like, we saw a bit yeah. more of Indiana Jones, but I think what's what's really exciting is the rest of the games that hasn't been announced. And to be yeah. honest, lots of world premieres. So we think that... There's a lot. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I think... I went in with like a 9 out of 10 expectation. I think it was more like an 8 out of 10. There was some stuff that was missing, surprisingly. Like the lack of release dates really kind of pissed me off. Yeah. That was like a really joke through the, podcast, uh, through the whole thing. The, the fact that we've, we sat through this to like, I thought we'd have a, a release date for Indiana Jones, a release date for pretty much everything coming out this year. I assumed we'd have release dates for in this. I thought that was the whole point of this show. So that was annoying. But Doom. Uh, the Dark Age, Gears of War, E Day, Perfect Dark. I mean, they all look really cool. There's, and it's nice to finally get some, uh, actually, some uh, gameplay on some of these other games as well. Um, and I'm, I'm actually sold on Call of Duty. This is the first Call of Duty I'm going to play in like a decade, and I'm actually really excited for it. The dynamic movement and dynamic diving and all that, I thought that sounded really cool and interesting. Uh, oh, I mean, what did you think? What was your highlights of the show? Yeah, I think of the you mentioned those games, and to be honest, the second sequel to Doom twenty sixteen, that's pretty different because it's just like sets on the medieval kind of environment, yeah. and yeah, it's just likely to be quite good. But I think I found Doom Eternal to be a bit of a step down from like the original, but Bethesda like and ID Software is just like doubles down on this Doom thing. And looks yeah. pretty interesting. So, but the other games being that, I think there was the other ones. Gears of War E Day, not a lot about it, just the one that's based yeah. in the Unreal Engine 5. And I legitimately thinking it's the remakes or remasters, but instead, it could suggest as if it's an open world Gears of War. So, that's kind mm. of promising. Like pre but that's all you've got. like a prequel. So, yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah. So we got a Doom prequel and a Gears of War prequel in yes. the same in the same. <laughs> well, I don't know the whether the Doom Dark Age is a prequel or the sequel. So we... I'm pretty sure it's a prequel because it said it was in the medieval medieval age and stuff like that, and this is where it all started. As but far yeah, as I'm concerned, Perfect Dark, which has been rumored heavily and it's said it could be coming, it's finally been revealed. It's a reboot. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but I'm really impressed with how they looked like because Perfect Dark came out with the Nintendo 64 and then there's like Perfect Dark Zero that is like tries to be a prequel but becomes a disappointing game. But this one is a reboot of a franchise yeah. by Rare and it's done by a different developer. But I think the graphics, the hard, I mean all the set pieces of it, it does look very promising. And as you said, it's just like close to Dishonored with Mirror's Edge. What do you think? Yeah, it looked like it, that's what we're seeing in the reactions. Yeah, so it looks like kind of like a mix between Dishonored, Mirror's Edge, uh, like you got parkour for per, first person stealth. It looks fun. It looks really cool and interesting. I'm really intrigued to see more of it. Um, it looks like like we actually seen some progress in it because there was lots of people talking about how this pro project might be dead and stuff. So. Uh, I'm it's glad good to it's see been... the perfect dog is still alive and well. Yeah, it's still. I'm glad it's still happening. There's also some, like extra bits for about <clears throat> some yep. Indiana Jones, and there's also like Stalker Two. I have to admit, it yes. does look really good. good. I really enjoy the graphics and the gameplay, and I think this is set to be a huge release. And I'm so glad that it finally has a release date. So. Please make it so good because we've been waiting so long for it. Yeah, so, yeah. So 
What were your negatives? Because for me, the only real big major negative for me was the hardware announcement at the end. It's like, now we have the Xbox Series X in white, and, and you can also get it in black with green accents, and that's it. I was expecting it to be a bit more of a upgrade or a change. You know, I thought it might be a slim version. I was hoping we were going to get the rumored handheld that's been talked about. Like I know I got I just got a rock ally, but I would love to have a, 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 a like a dedicated Xbox handheld, and I'm a bit bummed that we didn't see that or anything like similar to that. Sarah Bond did say we're going to get next gen soon. It, well, that's what they're gonna, working on now, aren't they? They're working on next gen, yeah. So the new versions of the Xbox Series X and S don't look that different. They look. Well, I think like there's black with green accents on it. Right, I well, don't know. Uh, if you allow me to explain, yes, they did announce yeah, the ahead. new systems. That it's been rumored for a while that the Xbox Series X is going to be released in like white and does not have a disc. Yeah. And yes, it is one terabyte as last time. It has no disc drive and it will be in white. And it's going to be sold for one hundred and forty nine dollars. So it's a bit similar price to the original Xbox Series X. Whereas the all digital yeah. Xbox Series S white that has one terabyte is three hundred forty nine, so it's just basically an Xbox Series S with a double the storage, just like a black version. So, so you're not going to yeah. get that much difference with it. But the two terabyte special edition of Xbox Series S, as it's a black one with green accents. That is going to retail for six hundred dollars. So I imagine it's going to be Whoa. more expensive than like. Xbox Series X. I've been reading some of the comments and it's just like, well, it's just literally like getting the Xbox Series X with the expansion card in it too. So that's it. I suppose. That doesn't seem like worth the money to me. I don't know. That's weird. That's a weird option for Xbox to go down. Because it's not like it's not like a slim version or even a pro version. It just seems like, I don't know. It's weird. I think it's um, still a letdown because it's just the same mm, with the black exactly. Xbox Series S, only they double down on it. But what they yeah. could have done is that they must have like make them more environmentally friendly with lower power requirements. So it could be more efficient. So. Yeah. But Xbox Series I mean, S is like double its storage, not much different. But I feel that yeah. the reason they brought out the Series X there is just basically to cut down on costs. Whereas the black that is green accents, yeah. you just double the storage for more money. And like, if you've got an Xbox Series X, then that's all you get. Yeah, I, I'm not not first on it. Honestly, I don't think it's great. Um, I've like I bought an Xbox wrap. I'm surprised they didn't do more wraps because like like it's like if you want yeah. a white Xbox Series. X, you could just get a Series X and buy a wrap that's like a white wrap for the exactly. year done. I mean, that's, my, my, literally, my Xbox Series X is basically a white one now. Um, I'm not first. I just thought we might get like a Call of Duty console or something. We didn't get that's that either. Thing, because we, we didn't don't get anything have, that interesting with the consoles. We don't have a 4K upgrade, a pro upgrade to Xbox, or even the 4K version of xbox series s like the one with the xbox series x insides but it's yeah mm. we're pretty much bummed about there's a lack of a handheld and we don't have a cylind yeah. cylindrical xbox it doesn't even mention a new improved controller like gyrostrope and all this stuff, no they never so. mentioned the new controller either yeah because yeah, i was the rumored one was the new controller i just bought a recently just bought a Series S second hand off one of my friends, so I'm glad now that I, I, <laughs> yeah. I was worried that I would have bought it like they would have had a released a really cool new version of it, but it looks like the same thing, so whatever. <laughs> so, um, as a handheld is what I wanted, we didn't get that, so I mean, that's my major disappointment. I would say I was more happy with this conference than disappointed. I said that the the hardware was a bit disappointing. The lack of dates was also disappointing. But some of the games they showed were fantastic. I'm very excited for a lot of these games. But yeah, um, I think it's obvious. Like not only they brought out more Samurai games, but they also like do more updates for Fallout 76, Sea of Thieves, yeah. Elder Scrolls Online, and now World of Warcraft. And yet, not totally like, nothing on the Halo Infinite, which leads to a yeah. big disappointment. Like Halo Infinite. 
no update, no snow Halo game. So what are we going to do with Halo? Are we just going to stick to Call of Duty? Yeah, it's a bit strange. So, I mean, we were saying that during the conference, we always have the typical, uh, what was it, Fallout 76, Elder Scrolls Online, and now we have World of Warcraft. We have basically the like the, the, like the live service games. They still talk about them every press conference. And PlayStation, prepare yourself, because you're going to have this with Concord now. Concord season eight coming to <laughs> coming next year and all this shit in every single conference. <laughs> yes. Um, Xbox is way ahead, of the, way ahead of the curve when it comes to the uh, the live service games. We've got a ton of them on our, our system. I'm not first on them, but I know they're just kind of a part of the showcase now. I don't even. I just you know I expect them. I don't really. I was hoping we might get like a World of Warcraft uh, Xbox edition or something, which would have been sick. But maybe yeah. that'll be a thing for next year. One day, I hope. What I'm really um, most impressed about is the Metal Gear Solid Delta. And that was good. No release date with it, but they're already like dealing with a remake or remaster of it, which is like feels more like Metal Gear yeah. Solid Five, which, in my opinion, is like very, very promising and looks very good. So this is mm. a lot of promises with it. It looks pretty. It looks pretty, and it looks like they care about the source material because it did feel very much like the original. Like I was quoted lines and stuff while it was while it was playing. <laughs> like I was like, I was like, oh, this takes me back. Like Melky I'm Melky One's my favorite, but Melky Solid Three is still a really damn good game. It's a classic. Um, I can't wait to play it. I really can't wait to play it again. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah. S- I mean, so, highlight of the show for me was Gears of War, um, but I think it was really good, really good conference. Now, I would give it. I gotta uh, sorry, I gotta interrupt well, you, but there's the one huge question, and it's coming up that you it just is meant for you. So, for me. what is your opinion about the updates to Starfield, including the DLC? Oh, we forgot about that. Yeah, uh, Shattered Space, and there's a, there's a there's an update going up right now. Um, annoyed that there's not a release date, as I said earlier. Why is there not a release date? That makes no fucking sense. Why it's not um, for PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, it's not for PlayStation. Haha, <laughs> screw you, PlayStation. <laughs> um, I still start uh, this being one of the best game like RPGs I've ever played. I really enjoyed it. I know you you thought it was being mid. I love Starfield. Um, I'm excited to play it. It looks interesting. Uh, House Varun multiverses kind of stuff to it and like dimensions and stuff cool i'm down for trying it out i really as i said i really enjoyed the base game of starfield so i'm looking forward to playing some more if there's new content out today i need to re-watch that and figure out what the new stuff is and actually i might play it uh i haven't gone back to starfield since i completed it so um my another reason to get to a level 100 this time because that's one of the last achievements yes. you get but there's also yes. like you can now choose any mods to go with it with a professor account and they also got the creators kit coming up so finally we could yeah. be seeing a lot more mods coming to starfield which is really positive me i haven't yeah. really used that many mods with uh skyrim which i can easily do it on pc but i haven't really tried it in the xbox version but but yeah there's a lot of hope that starfield is going to set to be better with the content update but yeah, yeah. it's just Pretty promising. Yeah, I enjoyed. I, I think. Uh, yeah, as I said, I think I enjoyed most of this conference. Uh, what, I mean, what, what was your highlight? You would say my would... biggest highlight is Perfect Dark. I'm so glad yeah. they brought it out, and it does look very good. And this is followed yeah. by Stalker Two and Metal yes. Gear Solid Delta because these are really good All games. Good. But I think that Indiana Jones. Well. Still hoping it will turn out well because it does look like a solid follow up to the Indiana Jones film tri- trilogy, but who knows? Yes. What about that mouse game? Is that your game of the show? <laughs> well, the one where you play a mouse? Not... That was so random. <laughs> yeah, it is so random, but but then I think it just could be like pops up in the game pass and likely to be forgotten. But it's yeah. it's interesting. So quite cute. Yeah, I would like to see some kind of roadmap now, figure out what games are coming out next year, what games are coming out this year, when. I said I, that's why I was looking forward to some dates. But I think at the moment that, uh, I think there's a yeah. lot of like 
lack of release dates and it's just That's going to be bad. like expecting a few more games coming out later this year but we probably not get yeah. it during summer apart from one or two odd games that here and there mm -hmm. especially one of the games which is i think it's something off dawn or some sort i don't know that's coming in july but dawn. but as for the halo stuff we don't know oh, what's happening lock. with yeah we don't know what's happening with halo infinite because there's nothing no. announced for halo we don't have anything with it so we could find out during the uh during the year but apart from that Apart from the hardware, it just seems like more games for Xbox. There's Call yeah. of Duty, and I think it's, there's a bit of a promise with it. But anyway, we're going to wrap this up. So thanks for listening for our initial thoughts. So, uh, before we before yep. we go, before we go, uh, I said mine is an eight out of ten. What would you rate this out of ten? Seven out of ten. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> so the, our, our our aggregate is a seven point five out of ten. If you use the mean of, uh, of us, so. Thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. My dog's decided to wake up. Hello, doggy. Sit down. Mm. You're your baba. Who's your baby? Anyway. Anyway. Until turn. <laughs> uh, if yeah. we're gonna, one of us is gonna take a dog out for the walk. Uh, I have yes, to I get some stuff with us. So until then, <laughs> thanks for watching and expect more stuff in the uh, next few weeks. So see ya. Bye. Thank you for listening to the X Marks the Box podcast. Follow us at X Marks Box on Twitter or X Marks the Box on YouTube. And follow us on all audio podcast services. Thanks for listening.